good morning, or might I say, good early afternoon, and for all you people in other countries and in other parts of the world, good evening. <laughs> hey guys, I actually just wanted to wish you a happy Sunday. Um, the weather here in Arkansas is a bit dreary, um, but then again, living in Arkansas, you got to be prepared for some crazy weather. I mean, it can be smoking hot one day and snow on the ground the next, um, but pretty cool day today, um, trying to find the good in it, looking for the good, I guess you could say. Um, driving back from Mountain Home, Arkansas, went to visit a friend up there, decided to hit the road early so that I could beat the snowstorm that's biting at my heels, stopped to get gas, and was just thinking about something that I wanted to share with you, okay? Now, I want you to imagine that a son has decided that he no longer wants to be his father's offspring. Okay, so he no longer believes that this man who calls himself dad, father, Abba, Papa, whatever he calls himself, is his, that, that they are, they belong together. He has decided that he wants nothing to do with his father. I just wanted to encourage you that no matter what that son believes to be true about who his father is, he cannot rip the genetics from his being. He cannot go to the doctor and say, I no longer want to be from the same DNA that I was birthed from. And then the doctor be able to actually tear apart his DNA and make him no longer a son. It's not possible. Now, in his mind, he absolutely can believe and think and choose and make decisions based on what he's chosen. But nothing that he does can take away his sonship. Maybe you've been taught that your behavior makes God come closer to you or further away from you based on the level of sin or the level of goodness or evil that is associated with it. But I just want to encourage you that God's not messed up about your mess and He's not going to love you anymore based on your goodness. He is your Father. He is your Abba. He is your Papa. And He loves you as such. And just like the boy cannot go and have the genetics stripped from his being, you can never, no matter what you do, good or bad, change your sonship with God. Now, this can be quite offensive because you may have chosen that you don't even believe in God, that you don't give a rat's butt about who he is or the fact that he even exists. He's still your dad. You may have been working your whole entire life to impress him and do the right thing and be a good, strong Christian. His love doesn't change based on your actions, based on your works. So today, I just wanted to encourage you that there's no place that you can go that he isn't already because he lives right in the center of your gut. And that's good news because that means that even when we fail, even when we make a few unhealthy decisions, that he doesn't scatter away like a scared rat on the streets of New York City. That means that even when you try your best, even if it's not good enough for what you believe is good enough, he's still your dad. There's nowhere you can go. There's nothing you can do. And there's no mindset that you can have that will change your sonship. So, Love you so much. Happy Sunday. Word. <laughs>